Hi, we're the Brights coming to you live from our studio. In 2020. Yes. Where have you guys been? We've been missing y'all. Yeah, like we haven't seen y'all in like a month. It's been, it's been it's at been least a, a month, haven't it? Yeah. Well, it wasn't just... Um, what happened? Boy, 19... Well, I yeah, mean, I was like, 2019 was just a, it's a crazy year. Uh, a lot it's of great things, a lot of good things. You know, a lot of things that are in our past that we want to just leave there, you yeah. know, that we, we learned a lot and um, it was a good year. You know, yeah. every year is getting better than the year before. Yeah. So we know that we're on track. Well, it's, it had, you know, peaks and valleys yeah. and, and, but whatever, I mean, that's life and that's marriage and kids and went through it. And uh, so we kind of took some little time off. We weren't planning on it. So when we started doing these videos, uh, in 2018, mm -hmm. in October 2018, we talked about it and then we started doing them and we said we were going to do a video. Lynn, good to see you. Hey, Glenn. Um, and so we just did, we did it. We did, we did it. it within that year. For, I think we, we did a couple in 2018 at the end and then in 2019, I think all together we did about 50 videos. Yeah. So we were super proud of ourselves because we were consistent. We were, um, we, we did it. We just actually kept doing it, even when we didn't feel like it, because there were so many times that we were tired or whatever reason. We just didn't want to We were it. meeting with uh, our publishers and good friends, and we were talking to them about it, and we were also saying, there was times I said, man, they were like, we love your, your videos. We love your videos. I said, you should see in the very beginning when we first started how we used to get so angry, and it was all like, I can't believe we do this video. Hi, what? Hi. We're the brights, brights. yeah. And, you, and know, you can go back and see them because we right. haven't taken them all out right. of the video. We were going through some stuff well, right we were, before we went on. Because you know? we had never done anything like this, and so it was just tr truthfully how marriage really is. <laughs> and so it was just us starting a new new venture together, trying to do it. Our personalities were clashing because we're both strong-willed and we both think we're right and we both want to do it our way and neither of us is sit back passive and so we were a hot mess. But we would get on and be like, ah! And when we go back and watch them now, I say that they are uh, cringeworthy, but Richard doesn't like when I say that. But that's how I feel when I, like, it's very hard for me to watch the videos at the beginning because there was just so much we were trying to figure out and go through. Uh, and so they're getting, they're getting better as far as, I don't know if they're getting better for y'all, but we feel so much better when we're doing them. So I'm hoping that kind of bleeds over but we actually enjoy doing them now but we did not we took off so in the beginning of December mm -hmm. uh, well it was Thanksgiving I guess we took off for that weekend and then I think we did one more and then we went on vacation to Disney for a week and then uh, just a bunch of stuff was going on the holidays kids I got I got a um, upper respiratory infection and so I was sick for a couple weeks we canceled our first comedy gig the first gig we've ever canceled um it was on new year's eve in reno so the best gig probably ever <laughs> and we didn't get to go to it um but we just had a lot going on you know and so and there was other reasons in the downtime we started <laughs> talking about the videos we started talking about our life we just started talking about everything in general because you know we wanted to be on the same page together we wanted to both be in in agreement with everything that we wanted to do going forward in 2020 and I know that if it was important to my wife, then it needs to be important to me. And I want to hear her and listen to her, not just, just, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, and then get my point across. So we wanted Which to take some, that's how we've done for, we've done for yeah, for most of our marriage. And so I said, instead of just making a video to make a video, let's really go deep. Let, let's, let's try to figure out what we can do different to really bring some information across to the folks to help heal some some scars you know that there, there was a reason you know that jesus had the holes in his hand you know once he was risen he could have come back in, in, in a solid piece but man he wanted to show that man he still had the scars even though he was the risen savior something still happened to him so it's okay for us to talk about our scars but we need to be able to to get past that we need to be able to make go through that and we need to be able to say hey this is what we did and it might work for you and it might not work, but find something that does. And I know we wanted to have open communication, so we wanted to do something different this well, year. Well, and we were just talking about, before we even got to that part about being deep and what we're going to do, we were even saying, okay, do we keep doing these videos? Like, we did them for a year, we did what we said, we we uh, made a goal and a commitment, and we've st stuck with it. And for us, it was really a big deal for us personally that we did it and we stuck with it, whether we felt like it or not, because there were times that we weren't, you know, we might have been having a tip between us, but we still had to make up, we had to talk about it and get on here and do a video. And we were like, 
are people getting anything out of these? Are we doing it for ourselves? Like, like <laughs> David says, my scars have scars. Yeah, right. Um, <laughs> but but you know, was and so I, we went to this uh, for some friends of ours last Sunday. They have a marriage life group. It's a big life group. So there's like 20 people. And one of the gentlemen that was there was just the nicest guy. We never met him before. And he's like, I know you guys from the video. And I thought, well, our friends had told him about the video. And he said, no, I knew you before that. And he said, I saw you guys online. I, and then the wife said, I think she, uh, he's watched like every one of them. But he said, you guys are helping us. So, like we love the videos. It's helping us. So that was really encouraging to us. Kind of a word for us to say, do we keep doing these videos? And um, so that helped us too. You know, you know we always say that um, we can't change the whole world, right? But, and, and you know, you hear all these cliches, you know, um, it, but if we can change the world around us and make it a better place, then that's a start, right? And I know that we can do that. Everybody can do that. And so what we want to do in 2020 with these videos is explain and help grow because we want this to be our big life group, all right? So it's it's kind of happening in a living room. It's it's in our own studio. But man, we're inviting you guys in. We want this to be personal. We want this to be real. We want to be transparent. We don't want to be fake. Um, and just like Sherry was saying, when we were having those tiffs and things were going wrong and we still had to make a video, well, think about it like this. When those things are going wrong in our marriage, we still have to be married. Yeah. You know, when things aren't going right in our marriage, if our marriage is sick, we need to get it healthy. If our finances are sick, we need to get it healthy. If our bodies are sick, we need to get it healthy. We can't go through 2020 with our finances good, our health good, but our marriage is hurting and our marriage is sick. That's right? a really good point about showing up because you still have to show up. Like you said, you still have to be married. You still have to show up for your marriage. You still have to show up to be the wife, the mother, the kid of the kids. You still got to do life. You can't just decide, well, I'm mad at him and we're not married right now. Like you're still married regardless of what's going on between you, you still got to show up and, yeah, that's and make good. it work. That's so good. You know, we've, <laughs> we've here in the last, I, 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 at least in the last month, we have talked and counseled with a handful, at least a handful of couples that are on the verge of divorce, mm -hmm. that they just can't take it anymore. And they're about to, to just let it all go. And all I can think about is telling them to, to hang on. Have you done everything and anything to save your marriage? Mm -hmm. I know sometimes we think we have. Oh my gosh, I've listened to her and we've talked about it and we've talked we've about tried it. And we've, tried. we've tried and we've tried. What have you tried? What have we tried? You know, I remember when we were saying that, but man, we weren't going to any classes. We weren't going to uh, get any counseling. We weren't reading any books or she might've been reading some books. But when, when you're in that hurting stage, it's like you're wounded and anytime somebody comes to, to, to give you a word or to, to encourage you, man, you're just ready to, to snap and fight back. Like when you're sick, you know, and somebody wants to talk to you and, and share time with you and do, and you're just like, just leave me alone. I'm sick. Well, same thing with marriage. When one person is in and the other person's out, it makes it so difficult and so hard for unity to happen in there. And if that unity is not happening, then we have an issue. We've got to get to a place to where we can talk and communicate. That's going to be the only saving grace in an, a, an area where marriages are on the verge of divorce. Well, one of the things that we're really noticing in our own marriage, and Richard and I, it's a, May will be 17 years that we've been together, and and so many things that we're just discovering after this long being together. And it's not like if you've been married 40 years, then probably 17 is not that big a deal. You're like, oh, amateurs. But for us, it's a long time. and and. You know, you think if you're with someone that long, you already know each other. We're just like, I mean, some things just in the last couple of weeks, like it's constantly we're learning about each other, which that we were, I guess, always there were different things that we could learn about each other, but we weren't open minded. Maybe always at the same time, we weren't becoming one, but we just see over the years how things have um, it has gotten better because we work at it getting better, but it does get better after time like we just kept going and kept trying and people think oh well that like how long do i wait for my marriage to get better i've been believing and believing this is i'm gonna give them the example of what we're talking about right now okay. i think so 
if y'all don't know us that personally, but I am super into like, I'm not a, like a workout person very much or anything like that, but I really like to eat well. I like to take vitamins. I like to take care of myself, stay slender. Like I want to stay healthy. And she's like an accountant when it comes to dietary issues. She watches everything, sees everything, knows how much she takes. And it amazes me because I'm like, don't waste all that time. But not in a weird kind of like right. nobody, I don't talk about some people where it's just something that I subconsciously have just done just to stay healthy, you know, and we're getting older, like we're empty nesters now. And it's not like, well, we're just young. We can just go on being young. We're older. So like we need to take care of ourselves. So I'm always this one trying to take care of ourselves and trying to take care of us because he wasn't wanting to take care right. of him. And he'd go through times where he'd yo-yo diet and you know uh, I, and so there was just always been this content what's that word i don't know that like uh, there's just always been this thing that we have and he'll sometimes he's like yes dear oh that's so sweet and sure i'll and eat then, that sometimes salad it's all like yes i'm in let's do this yes and then sometimes he is but never really i don't know how to explain what happened but in the last month or so my why yeah. became bigger than my want Okay, because every time I wanted to diet, every time I wanted to get right, I did for a while. But this time I said, you know what, what is my why? Why do I want that? I want that to bring, you know, I don't want you to be taking care of a sick husband. I want to be around to see my, my, my grandkids grow up. My why started to outweigh the decisions that I, were, that I was making. And I said, you know what, I've got to start making the right decisions. And, and I just ask, oh, yeah. Go well, I was going to say every year we go through this. People are like, okay, we've seen Richard like in January. He's on board. Like we usually do the Daniel fast as a corporate thing with our church. This year we didn't do it because we said, you know, why are we doing it? And we talked to some other friends and they um, felt the same way. Like we want to make sure we're doing it because of the right reason that it was a spiritual thing, not just doing it because everyone was doing it. We started doing it the last couple of years because it became like, I was like, oh, Richard's going to lose 20 pounds, you know, and he's going to get, get healthier. So that's not the right reason to do it so right. this year this has nothing to do with weight, weight. so right. this year we decided that we were going to do this different eating plan we got a nutrition person and a coach and we have been doing it Richard's already lost 18 pounds this year and um, but it's not just about weight like yes the weight needs to come off yes we I have a few pounds that I've been hiding the last few years and people are like oh you're tall and thin but you know I just know I just found out that double spanking double spanking Spanxing it is a thing. <laughs> Had I known that, I'd have been wearing a lot of other things the last couple of years, other cute dresses, but I didn't know you could wear two Spanx. Well, my one. wife has to tell me, baby, put on some Spanx. I I'm did. Like, I told him uh, I'm going to buy you one of those mint eight shirts. To the no to that the, goes you know under, what I'm saying. Because I bought him all these really cute uh, shirts last year, like these really awesome, because when we were on stage, I like when he has like awesome shirts. And I bought him a size smaller because he had lost weight. So we have all these new shirts. And then toward like, I don't know. After we went on the cruise, like August, right. September, October, they're shrinking. he kept telling me that they were shrinking, and I really thought they were. And so I was like, well, maybe we don't need to take them to the dry cleaner. I'll just hang them up. And I'm trying to stretch them out, but I finally realized he just can't fit into them anymore. So, so I had you I, for a little while. Yeah. I so I was trying to get kind of like, oh, what are we going? Why do we do this? But this year we decided to get it. We started talking about things other than just weight, like everything about our how we you know, uh, feeling better, our bodies. And so we have had so many conversations and we're so excited about this. This is why we're talking about it because this is just a thing. Your thing might be totally something else that y'all have been believing for. I've been believing and praying for this for all the time. Yes, yeah, since we knew each other. I mean, but he is on a different way yeah. and he's sending me videos like YouTube videos, like how to make certain keto recipes. He just made me keto crackers just now, right before this video. Keto crackers and they have one gram. I mean, I'm just thinking, you don't know if you've known Richard, this, never, never would this happen. Never, but this is really neat. But the neat part that's coming from this is how we talk and how we are communicating and how we're it's all of a sudden we're just like it, it's, it's like a brand new thing and you know i know people say oh when it's all brand new everything's exciting but the line of communication that is it's opened up between sherry and i we i don't think we've ever had because i want to hear not i want to listen and hear to what she's saying so that i can feel her emotions and feel what's in her heart what she's trying to to portray to me 
and I want to take that and I want to nurture that and I want to 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 be the man of the house. I want to be like, man, that's awesome, baby. I'm hearing you. Let's do that, you know. And I want to support her. I want to be there for her. And you know, to hear me say that when years and years and years ago I wanted to divorce and didn't want to be married anymore to see where we are right now in our walk and and what what God has done in our life is is amazing and I just wish that everybody could see that especially the people that are going through some stuff you know we had uh, Lisa Mills Lisa you knocked it out of the park today and we were so thankful that you came and just shared your heart and your passion of helping people in our class and today. And if you don't know Lisa Mills, just kind of side note, look her up. She's a comedian. She's a keynote speaker. She's a pastor. I mean, she has so many things going for her and she came uh, in from Georgia to our marriage rocks yeah. class at Lakewood Church and she did, uh, she spoke to them this morning and it was a word. Like she, yeah. just she said a couple of things that were just fantastic. She goes, Hey, you know, we were broken and, and guys, even broken crayons color, right? Yeah. And I just thought that was so funny. She goes, we were just coloring outside the lines and she goes, and gold <laughs> isn't expensive. It doesn't get its value from its shine. It gets its value from its weight. And when she said that, instantly I thought, oh my gosh, there are so many marriages that have no weight, that is just shiny. And we're going to church or we're trying to put on this facade that our marriage is good. We're putting it on in front of our children, yeah. in front of our coworkers. Um, and, but in, inside we're hurting and we're dying and we're falling apart and we don't know how to lift ourselves back up. Right. And we, I just to say, if you don't, if you've never heard our videos or don't know our story, we did it for years. We looked shiny on the outside. We went to church. We we were volunteering in the church. We were uh, we were serving like, like it was like it like it was our job. But it kept us. We were so busy doing things with the church, and we still do things with the church now. And we're very involved in church, but it's on a different let like a different reason. Then we were doing it basically to stay keep our marriage together because the more we could focus on other people, the less we had to deal with our own stuff. But eventually that stuff, you can't keep sweeping stuff under the rug. Like you can't, eventually you have to deal with it. You can, I heard an analogy once, you know, if you keep putting stuff on a bookshelf, eventually the bookshelf's going to get too heavy and it's going to fall. And so we just kept adding things and adding things and waiting for it to just land on us until we, until things did come crashing down and we had to deal with some stuff. But we want to encourage you guys that even if you're going through something, to stick with it because we look at what's happening now in our life and where we say it almost almost every day either to each other we or to someone believe, else we can't believe we can't, it. And that if that if we had quit if we had stopped if we had given up and we thought that we couldn't be married anymore and we weren't happy anymore and um it's not oh. about you like lisa said today it's not about god doesn't care if you're happy you know, God will give you joy in your marriage if you push through and you work. I promise you, you will have joy. You want joy. You don't want happiness because happiness is fleeting. Happiness is emotional based. It's one day you're happy, one day you're low. Then you're up and then you're down. You don't want to live like that. Joy is joy. Like it's it's just a steady, whether things are bad or good, you're just going to praise God and keep going and he's going to work it out. But we just always say, what if we had given up and there had been people that we wouldn't have been able to touch and help and the things that God has done in our own life, like the things that just the things we've done in the last year that we never would have gotten had that opportunity. The people that we met, the stages that we got to be on, the, the couples friendships that, that have oh developed. My God, friendships. And the people that are for us and the people who call and pray for us and um just lift us up. It's phenomenal. This feeling of of youth it's just in my heart and in, in our souls. And we're just like, oh my gosh, you know, life is getting so good and so sweet. Yeah. And we almost, you know, Lisa said that she was three decisions away from living in a trailer park, working at a low income job and having a bunch of baby daddies because that's the environment that she grew up in. And she goes, so our decisions make or break us. Mm -hmm. And if we make bad decisions, then man, there's a harvest that we're gonna reap. But I remember, man, when we started making good decisions and man, our life started to change, our marriage started to change, everything, but it took time. I mean, man, guys, if you really think about the hurt and the pain and the loss and the lies and the devastation and everything that we've believed, we've seen and we've experienced, you know, sometimes if we don't know who we serve, it's impossible to go through life with joy. It's more of a get up, pay the bills, 
go to work, die. You know, that's you're on that cycle. And that's not the way we were designed to live. We were designed to be more than. We were designed to have an amazing marriage, to raise amazing kids. And, man, if our kids aren't where they need to be right now, we need to pray for them because they will be. Man, we just keep standing in the gap for our friends, for our kids, for everybody. We just pray for them because we understand where the power and the anointing is, is through prayer. And, man, through that the the bond and the unity that's going that grew i mean 17 years she's tried to talk to me about my health and man i tried on this but man all of a sudden god just said no this is going to be the year so guys what we're asking you is 2020 let this be the year that the chains fall down that man we speak the truth from our heart but we have to use love because if we speak the truth without love then it comes across as anger and if we speak um love without truth, then we can get taken advantage of, right? So we need to learn how do we use these things. Lisa, we were just talking about yes, you. Yes, we were. And we're just, oh my gosh, we just awesome. we just borrowed your gold story and the crayon story. But there were so many other valuable pearls of wisdom that she imparted on the class today, and it was phenomenal. And what a great way to start off 2020 is, you know what? We're for you guys, and we're going to walk this out with y'all, and we're here to help y'all, all all right? And so us taking a little time off, uh, some of it we planned to take off last uh, last month, and then we ended up just taking a couple extra weeks. Um, A couple times we were going to hop on here, and we just thought, you know, why are we, like we said, why are we doing these videos? Are we supposed to keep doing these videos? And we really had to just seek that and God, like, okay, what do, what does it look like? Are we doing them just to do them? Are we doing them to save face? So we keep on. And we wanted to also not just, we wanted to be able to, to give you the overflow. So we had to pour some stuff into ourselves and have other people pour some stuff into us. And, and we spent a lot of time with friends over the holiday, like just, you can't give what you don't have. So uh, we just had to recharge. Like, we were laughing. Yeah. We were fellowshipping. We were sharing time. We were telling jokes. We were, you know, people were laughing. We were entertaining. We were being entertained. We spent some quality time together that was so needed yeah. because somehow that quality time and spending time with each other starts to heal some things. You know, you start to, you know, let that past go and start looking ahead towards your future. And man, what a great decade, 2020, man, what, you know, I know that there's, everybody's all like, the year of vision, vision, this and that, and 2020, but, but man, it is why not? A new te- why not, you know? And so there's a few things for marriage that we're going to, uh, we really would love to hear you guys to to um, tell us some, some titles, some uh, subjects, that you want to talk about this year, that you want us to talk about, that it's on your heart, that maybe you have a friend, or maybe you have a friend, <laughs> or maybe it is you, maybe it is a friend, or someone at work. Sometimes people send us stuff and they're like, I don't know, I work with this person, but I don't feel, uh, I don't know how to deal with this certain subject. We, You know us, we pretty much will talk about anything. I mean, there's very little that's off limits to us. Um, nothing so far, actually. <laughs> um, but we love to talk That's about stuff. Little. We've been through stuff. We've been through some stuff, and um, we don't mind talking about it because we know the things that we've gone through that God allowed it. God didn't cause it to happen, but He allowed it to happen for us to go through it so that we could talk about it. And so that we can so that us. our scars can heal, yep, so yep. our wounds can heal, and so that we're able to talk about what we went through so that people don't feel alone because so many times we feel that we're the only this is the only thing that we're the only ones that this is happening to and that's not the case i mean i reached over to richard uh saturday night was it last saturday a week ago saturday and i just we had gone to we had we did a gig and then we had to have we were on this eating plan so we had to go have our lean and green so we had to have this and normally after a gig we're hungry we go out and I'm like trying to eat a salad and then he's getting all this stuff and then the next thing I go I'm like just bring me French fries <laughs> and I'm so mad at myself that I feel bad but we both ate very well like we we really planned it out how many ounces it was what we ate it was really healthy we felt so good and I just got in the car and I reached over to him and I just laid one on I like kissed him and I said. I think I'm falling in love with you all over again. And he's like, why? I said, just because you're on the same page with me and we're talking about stuff and you're not just blowing me off about that particular, so many other things he was never that way, but with that particular thing, it just seemed to be the thing. So I know God allowed it to be all these years so we can tell you guys that if you're believing for something for your spouse, and it's really easy today, we talked about it with Lisa, to say, um, 
huh, and because he'll come to me now and he's reading all this stuff that he's learning and it would be so easy for me to say, I've been telling you this for how long? And so a little, a little bit I say that, but more in fun, but it doesn't matter that I tried to tell him for all these years. It doesn't matter how you could get mad and have pride and say, you know what, I've been trying to tell you and it doesn't matter. If you've been praying for it, however God lets it happen, however, it, whatever, it doesn't matter as long as your your prayers are getting answered. So right. just be thankful and be praising God and not get caught up in all that other because the enemy will trick you and the next thing you know, you'll have all this pride because, and then you won't even work it out. So guys, going into 2020, we're going to dive deep into the human psyche of how we are each created. We're going to have different tests um, that are already established, already out there. There's nothing new that we're making up uh, so that you guys follow along with us. And you can see, you can start to learn about yourselves. You can start to learn about your spouse. There's one, it's going to be closer to the summertime, right after spring that we're going to be talking about that tells us why we are the way that we are and what makes us tick and why we react the way that we react. Are you talking about in our marriage class? Yeah, but okay, I mean, we're going to do, gonna do, it, gonna do okay. it here too. Okay, so it might be uh, before then though. No, it could yeah. be. So you know. any, yeah, but we'll, 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 say, we'll, we'll put it on there so you guys can uh, do it ahead of time and it's about your emotional health. It's a, your Not emotional how you health. do things, but why you do things. And we've been doing it this last year and it has been a game changer and for some friends of ours and their marriages too because we're learning why we make each other, how we tick and why your spouse, Richard read my stuff and he was like, oh my gosh, I've been, I've been pinging you and just, uh, what was the other word? I thought I was helping her. I truly thought that I was using my strength to help her, but actually my strengths were her weaknesses. So all I'm doing is reinforcing and pushing on those weaknesses and it was making her react in the way that her strengths were coming up, but it was pushing my weaknesses. And if we're not careful, that's what we do our whole marriage until we're so far apart and there's so much isolation that now we can't even talk. And some of you might know somebody, it might be you, that man, you guys can't even talk without arguing. It starts off like, hey, we're gonna get, and then it ends in an argument because there's so much resentment, there's so much things that, that man, we haven't been able to talk about. And now everything is a fight. Everything is oh a disagreement. And no, it used and we, to be like that. Oh my gosh. It yes. used to be, I used to be, why do you keep doing that? And I, and I said, what? She goes, making that noise. And I go, you mean breathing? I'm like, I've got to do that. that. Yeah. And why do you have to do it all the time? <laughs> So this is really how oh we were. Every little thing used to bother. Right. I, I, like to, to be where we are right now. And so we're not doing like, it's oh, a look miracle at the miracle of God. We're just saying that I, if God will do it for us, he will do it for you. If he's part of the Red Sea, man, he saved our marriage. Come on, somebody. If you can go, if we can, if you're going through something, you hear us say this all the time, but if, if you're going through something right now and it just seems impossible or it just seems like the hardest thing or something that you just feel like we cannot overcome this, I promise you, the enemy is fighting you hard because God has something huge and big in your life that the enemy doesn't want to see happen. He did it to ours for years, and we see now why. We have why learned that was. just. I mean, we knew that God had called us to do something, but man, I am prof um, prophesying this over. I'm just telling y'all the truth that God has given y'all a voice to speak up and do something that is passionate to you because it's going to glorify him. And as long as if, if we don't know what that is and, and we're dancing around it or uh, we're just starting, man, find out what that is. What are you passionate about? How can you help somebody? Make sure that it's helping somebody, you know, and if it's helping you, that's great. But when, man, when our marriage was suffering, we volunteered in a marriage class. That was our first step. We went and found a place that we could plug in to learn about marriage. I, I drug him. To yeah, marriage she, you know, yeah, she did drug me, you know. Kicking but, and screaming. I, you know, oh my gosh. But and, had we known that that little act of faith of going and, and, and volunteering in a marriage class and just passing out some flyers in a marriage class, it might seem like a little tiny seed, but that seed took root. And over the years, we kept coming and kept going and kept believing and kept Ooh, watering Look it. at you starting and, off 2020. <laughs> and Come on. I look at what God had for us now. Like, we didn't know we would ever talk to teach marriage classes or go and do comedy on a stage and go on group with Jimmy Evans. Like, all these things. Who would have ever, if you had told us or even seen us I wouldn't have believed 10 it. or 15 years ago, you would have been like, never will it be them. People were taking bets to see how long it was going to last. Like, <laughs> I, I'm pretty sure 
I had a pile. I had. I know he's not a gambling man, but I'm pretty sure. I had a side bet. I had a side bet going. Yeah. So we just we just want to give you guys hope. We have we were going to talk a little bit more about some other stuff, but time is already gone and. We have our eating plan, and we actually have right. one more fueling, and so we're about to have some decadent and brownies we cannot, in the oven right now. We cannot yeah. thank Lisa Mills enough. She came out, yep. and she was so humble. She's not going to to brag about herself. She's not going to talk about herself, but she did such a phenomenal job of just loving on people today. After the class, she goes, hey, if y'all, man, I want to pray for y'all. If y'all need prayer in your marriage, and she goes, I would love to do that. And man, she had people lined up and she was praying for them. But the message that she gave, and I know that she does this all over America and all over the world. Man, look up Lisa Mills, yeah. get her to your church, get her yes. to your conference and let her do what she does. Yeah, and she, so what good. she does is she shines for God. So, Lisa, yeah. thank you. Yeah, thank you again. And so there's a lot of comments that are coming through. And, you know, I'll always go back later and answer them if we didn't do it because they kind of come off the screen really quick. And, yes, David, we do need another uh, EXO cruise. We're actually starting EXO date nights this year. We're going to do a few of them coming up here. We're working on that. So we're going to be doing that with Marriage Today, some uh, date nights, comedy date, date nights. And um, so if your church wants to have a date night, send us a message, and we'll, we'll get you the information. Um we love to do marriage conferences. We love to do date nights, couple date nights. Um, just, I mean, we're our calendar is already getting really full for 2020, so we're excited about that. But send us a message. We'd love to come and to your church this year. That's right. So, man, we're going to do 2020 with you guys. Yep. Y'all do 2020 with us. Yep. All right. So we'll see y'all next Sunday. That's right. right. We're praying for you guys. Yes. We're believing for your marriage, and we know that restoration is going to happen. And, man, God's going to do net breaking. Net breaking. Favor on, and blessing. Hold on. Not, so not, got, yeah, look, look, look. look. This is net breaking because. We, we got this for, uh, as a gift. Can't and see it. I'm going to show it. Okay. But hang on. It's the, the suspense. That's right. So, so Pastor Joel talked about net breaking, like in the Bible, whenever. That's right. So, to tell that real quick about net breaking. When Peter was fishing and they, and uh, Jesus told him to throw the, on the other side, it was the, he caught so many fish that it was actually breaking the net. Yes. And he goes, that's the kind of blessing and favor that God is going to pour out this year. Net breaking. And we some, got this. Some people say, uh, you're married right now, and you might be going, we're having neck breaking. But no, it's <laughs> no net, neck breaking. No neck breaking. Net, N-E-T. Net breaking. So someone gave us Ooh, this. Look at that. This is actually a big whale. And so we have it in here. And I, th- I felt like... Mm-hmm. That's right. I so felt man, like we got it because of that, that we got it at the same time that we heard that message so, about net breaking. So that whale would break a, break a net. So have a whale of a week, all right? <laughs> oh and man, gosh. it's going to be. <laughs> yes. <laughs> it's not going to be washed up. Yes. Net breaking. We love you guys. Those. Send us some messages. Let us know what y'all want to talk about. Twenty twenty. We want to bring it in a whole new way. Yeah. Um, Thank you for supporting yes. us. Thank you for Please watching our videos. Please tell yes. people about us. Yeah. Share our videos, Share the videos and let's just let's make a difference in each other's life. Yeah, yeah. All, right? All right, love y'all. Love y'all. Good night. See you.